Some recent news uh, coming out on Visa and MasterCard retreating a little bit, at least for the time being, in terms of crypto adoption, right? In terms of going all in on crypto. Now, they still have a lot of strategic partnerships in place. They just said they're going to dial it back a little bit. Well, it got me thinking, does this open the door for Crypto.com and Kronos holders? By the way, Crypto.com dialed back today to about six cents. I think it's a massive opportunity. We might even see lower prices here in the short term. I'm eyeing that five cent level right in there to really load back up on Crypto.com. At least that's my personal position where I'm at, my personal opinion, not financial advice. Make sure you do that own research on your own. But again, I want to dive into this. Does this open the door for Crypto.com and other crypto companies that have cards, right? So let's dive into this and shout out to FX Street. They uh, covered this uh, as well, not too long ago to start the month here. So Visa and MasterCard's decision to roll back their crypto partnership plans could pave the way for wider adoption of Crypto.com and Coinbase cards. By the way, wider adoption will come to Crypto.com and Coinbase cards when we see a resurgence in retail money coming back into crypto, right? It's only going to happen in due time. Now, Again, U.S. payment giants Visa and MasterCard have decided to push back the launch of crypto-based products and partnerships within the ecosystem, at least right now. Again, they still have a lot of partnerships in place. They're not taking those off the table. They just, you know, basically pump the brakes a little bit on their crypto plans here in the short term. This is mostly in response to, <coughs> excuse me, events of 2022. We saw Terra Luna, the FTX collapse. A spokesperson, uh, spokesperson at Visa said, recent high-profile failures in the crypto sector are an important reminder that we have a long way to go before crypto becomes a part of mainstream payments and financial services. However, Crypto.com and Coinbase's Visa cards are among the most popular ones in the, in, in the industry. And while leading card processors withdraw their plans for inclusion of crypto, at least for right now, there's certainly a gap to be filled. And it opens the door for more people right now to jump in on Crypto.com. I know a lot of people who use the Crypto.com Visa cards. Uh, the use of these cards offers great rewards back to users. Coinbase's Visa card offers 4% back on transactions. Crypto.com, very similar fashion, right? Earning rewards and Crow and what have you. Now, multiple cryptos are supported by both of these, the Crypto.com card and the uh, Coinbase card. And you can actually acquire a Crypto.com card at no cost at all. The card has a staking requirement depending on its use of holders. Now, the adoption of Crypto.com's card could be one of the factors that drive the demand for native token Crow higher. And I definitely think this will be the case because I think once crypto really goes mainstream, we're going to be able to transact with crypto. And I think Crow could be a, a huge crypto that fits into this narrative, that fits into this mold, that is used for transactions, especially if it gets close to, let's say, a dollar next bull cycle uh, and maybe levels off there. By the way, massive opportunity in order to get there. We still need more than a 10x, right? 10 to 12x. Crow price yielded holders nearly 5% gains since February 15, while Crypto.com is nearly uh, 70 million users now worldwide. The number of cardholders is not known at this time, but I definitely think this is a big opportunity. So certainly check it out if you haven't already. Crypto.com has a great, great feature uh, featured cards. They have a great uh, series of featured cards. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, many different levels for you to check out. So let me know what you guys think about this down below. Crow holders. Want to hear from you. Appreciate you guys as always. It's been a little while since I made a video. Wanted to shout you guys out and uh, talk to you about Crow and kind of what I'm thinking about right now with this Visa and MasterCard news. I think it's a nice opportunity for Crypto.com to step up and gain some more widespread adoption as it relates to cryptocurrency. We'll see if we can get to 100 million users by the end of the year. Appreciate you guys as always. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.